Welcome. You're listening to Making Relationships Work. We're a company focused on women and their marriage. We lead and teach women just like you how to grow into and access whenever you need to your wise woman self, the part of you who is deeply connected to your purpose, your innate wisdom and your husband and family. We teach women in marriages how to rebuild trust and connection, to work through conflicts, no matter how deep, no matter how painful, and to lead your marriage to a place where the two of you experience marriage mastery. This podcast is about learning the systems and techniques that truly work to reconnect you back into your marriage so that you can experience the freedom that comes with a masterful marriage. Since this podcast is totally free, if you're getting tons of value and you want to support us and make sure that you get more of this good stuff, subscribe below and rate and review our podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hello, Women Making Marriages Work. Hello. Hello, Making Relationships Work, our podcast and our YouTube channel. Hello. It's really nice to be here with you all. It's been a week since I've been able to go live with you, and I'm going to tell you all about why in a minute. But first of all, let's do a check-in. How are you? How is it for you in your home? How is it for you in your community? How is it for you in your state, your county, your country? How are you going? We are six or seven, we're about six weeks in now, my goodness, to being locked down. And we are just fine over here. But I'm wondering about you. There's lots of changes to the way that we live, which are an impact, of course. And there's lots of fear and there's lots of uncertainty and there's lots of community and there's lots of love and there's lots of hoarding of toilet paper only to realize there's enough toilet paper. So, (laughs) and we've got stories of people putting that toilet paper back and then being asked to donate it to charity, which is pretty cute. So we are good down here in Australia. What are you, what is your life like? What are you doing? How are you? This is what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the influx of women coming to me for help. And I want to talk about how we haven't got enough spaces to help everybody. And I'm really sorry about that. We are doing our best to make more space, to make more room. And we're working as fast as we can and whilst looking after our team of people who take those calls. We call them breakthrough calls because our job is to work with you, to stand beside you, to have a breakthrough of understanding about what's happening in your marriage and why it's not working. And so with the pandemic and everybody living on top of each other and not being able to go and have a drink with a friend or go for a walk with another friend or even go to work in a different space. What we're finding is that our women that we serve are noticing in a very concentrated format just how many opportunities they have to heal their marriage and how many flaws they both have. And they're starting to really not be able to tolerate the kind of what they've created. And so wonderfully, they're trying to book a call with us And we are very happy to serve, but also we are getting so many calls. So we're expanding our team at the moment. We are hoping to have another two new people on our team in a couple of weeks, which means we'll have more call spaces available. Now, in China, there is a 50% increase in people signing up for a divorce now that a lot of the closed down quarantine areas are reopened. So we're anticipating that same level of volume. And so we are here to serve because you know what? Just because you can see how much pain your marriage has and you don't know how to make it better, it doesn't mean, please hear this, it doesn't mean it can't get better. It just means for right now, all you see and feel is this overwhelming pain and sense of disconnect. And all you want is that pain to stop. And when you want that to stop, you're going to say, how do I get it to stop? And divorce becomes a way to have that happen. Is it the right way? Well, look, it's a way, but is it what you really want? Probably not. And so 
more and more and more I'm working with women who are in this same space where they're in this crisis, this pandemic, and everything that they've been avoiding working on is now all that they can see. And all that they can see, it's mostly hurt with this deep sense of wanting to be understood and heard and well-loved. And they've got their beautiful husband who wants the same thing, but who also wants to get out of there. And so let's talk about why we want to divorce when things get hard. And I don't just mean that in terms of that flippant way of saying things are hard and he's out of here. I don't mean it like that. What I mean is we want to get out of here when things hurt us and we feel like we've tried and we've tried and we've tried and we feel like we've tried everything and it hasn't worked. And so therefore we feel like the only option is to end because People, women, men, we don't sign up to marriage thinking we're going to be the couple that doesn't make it. We sign up with our whole heart open, ready to serve our one true love, right? To create a life with this one person. And over years, remember it takes couples six years to get into crisis. Over these years where it's not working, we're burying pain, we're burying heartache, We're trying to be understood. We're missing the tools to be understood. Both of us feel like this and we get further and further and further and further apart. But we don't want to leave. We didn't sign up to leave. We don't want to be that person. And so if one of you is that person right now, it's not because you wanted that. It's because it feels like there's no other option. But there is another option. It's my masterclass. That'll get you started. But the option is to be able to work it through and grow. And you might say, well, that's not going to work for me. My husband won't do that. Yeah, I get that. That's why I specialize in helping women lead the way in these moments. Yes. So here's the thing. Most of the time, it's husband's that want to have that divorce. And you might say, well, why is that? Well, husbands haven't had it the same way that uh, that we have had it as women. They grew up in an era where they weren't allowed to talk about what it felt like to be them or they weren't a real man. They didn't have, they don't have the frameworks of understanding self that you have, let alone the frameworks of understanding self that I have that I teach you. (laughs) Do you see? And so we have this sense of I'm a man and I love this woman and I've tried my hardest and it's not working. And every time I look at her, all I feel is what a failure I am. And that hurts me so much that I can only tolerate that for so many years, six years, right? And then I just have to make that feeling of being worthless, not good enough, a failure, a letdown, not the husband I thought I would be all of that, I don't want to hold that in my truth. That hurts too much. And I've tried so hard, even if you can't see it, dear wife, I have tried so hard. And so now it has to finish. And so off they go and off goes the marriage, goes through separation, goes through divorce, but did it ever really have to? Look, sometimes it does, but I'm not here to talk about those ones. Yeah. So let those ones go over here. But most of them don't. Most of them, most of them are ready to be healed, ready to be grown into, because what we're talking about is a marriage that's kind of hitting the ceiling of what it knows how to do and how it knows how to behave. So two people make a marriage and they both need skills and tools and understanding and growth. So you know that saying we grow old, but we don't grow up. That's often what happens is we have the same skill set we had in our early 20s and we're now in our late 30s, early 40s, late 40s, 50s. But it doesn't cut it. We're expected to keep growing. We're expected to know more. We're expected to grow into the matriarchs, patriarchs of our community. But you need to understand that if you don't know how to do that, that's okay. You just need to go and find somebody who can teach you how to do that. And so that doesn't mean you need a divorce. It just means you need a series of new skills, understandings and frameworks to look at life through, to find your friend and to repair what just happened and to build out what you want it to be. 
all is not lost. This is really just a call to action. If you two are talking about separation, if you're alone, if you're isolated, if you're missing your person, it is the greatest call to action that you can have. But it doesn't mean it has to be over. And if you've tried therapy and it hasn't worked, well, hello, most therapy doesn't when it comes to couples. There's only a few ways that couples therapy really does work, and most of the world hasn't caught on to that. So most therapists will see two people and say, well, I can do one pretty good, so what's the difference in having a second one? Hello, that's not how couples therapy needs to work. It doesn't work, actually. So people have tried their local church counselling. They've tried their, like, their local co-pay therapist. They've tried with people who don't know any better. And I don't say that to dismiss my peers. I say it as a fact. We don't teach therapists and counsellors how to be successful in helping two people in a relationship. We don't do it. So if you've gone to get help and it hasn't worked, that's not on your marriage. That's on that therapist. That's on that clinician who hasn't developed the level they need to be able to serve in the community and it's really common in couples counseling and that is a travesty for families so if you are ready to come and do the work over here so that your marriage is in a statistic of the pandemic watch the masterclass book a call i want to see you i want to talk to you if you need to go on the wait list for the calls, go on the wait list. We will have more spots available soon. Your marriage has never been more important. This time has never been better for the two of you to do what needs to be done and to recommit to what needs to happen. And if you have a husband who doesn't want to recommit just yet because he is out of energy, he's tired, he's given up, there's, there's little belief that it's possible then you hold that belief, my friend. Only one of you needs to believe to get this ball rolling. And when we get energy, which we will, back into your marriage, then we can start working on what needs to be done. Yes, it's pretty simple. It's not easy, but it's simple and I can show you how to do it. So masterclass is below. Book a free breakthrough call with our team. Yes, and I will see you soon. I love you all very much. Stay safe, clean hands. Remember, anything is possible. You can create anything you want. You just have to know who to ask to teach you what you're missing. You know that's true. So if this is true for you in your marriage, let's go. Let's do our thing. Otherwise, I'll see you here later next week. We'll be talking about all the things we're talking about. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, lovelies. Thank you for tuning into today's show. If you're feeling fired up and you're ready to grow and you want to know more about how to do that, here is what I want you to do now. I want you to watch my marriage masterclass. This masterclass will show you how my clients have turned their struggling marriages into thriving marriages, even without their husband's buy-in. How my clients have gone from cycles of poor communication, disconnect and loneliness to being teammates and soulmates with their husband after they've already tried everything. And the proven system my clients use to start transforming their marriages in minutes, not years, because life is too precious to waste one more minute in an unhappy and unfulfilling marriage. So if this is what you're looking for, I want you to click the link below and take a look at my